Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. JC here, and Codex time again. We've got some secondaries. I don't know how many, I haven't clear checked, but it looks like we've got one. So, uh, time to let the other guy do the talking. Like the Geth plasma shotgun, the Spitfire is not a true energy weapon. Instead, the minigun magnetically flings clusters of superconducting toroids. These donut-shaped projectiles are designed to shatter upon impact, arcing electricity between the fragments and flash converting them to plasma. The gun's punishing automatic blasts impact with the heat of a cutting torch. The weapon's stopping power has garnered the attention of both Alliance and Quarian intelligence, who theorize that the Spitfire may have been designed to destroy other Geth. Enough Spitfires have been found in the field to suggest that the weapon is out of the prototyping stage and that a schism among synthetics may have forced them into production. Yes. Now, of course, we know that there was a schism. But we, um, we dealt with that in Legion's mission, Aspect 2. And we've also basically fixed that problem again because they're all united. Mostly. You know, there, there's some holdouts somewhere. So, you yeah, know, the Geth will make use of that hunting down other Geth. Because, you know, cleaning. What do we got? What do we got? We got, we got a lot. Oh, the Reaper War. So that's a guaranteed brand new one. What do we got? What's in it? Aquarian religion. I'm pretty sure that all of the Aquarian things were dealt with somewhere else. What I will do is slowly pan through. So if you want to read it, just to make sure, because I'm not gonna, because I think I've already done it. But if you think I haven't, you can pause and read it in chunks as I slowly scroll. I'm also scanning it as I go. Well, there you go. You could have read that. I sworn I've done it, but oh well. Right. Oh, this is the new mission we got thrown at us. But we've never been to this place, so <clears throat> Cylon, Cylon. We just call it Cylon, and not a robot that walks around with a light that moves from one side to the other side of its face. Yeah, no, that, not that one. Uh, a fortified world under the protection of several Asari matriarchs mm. has begun, su begun to supply fuel to Systems Alliance forces in the hope that an Asari human partnership might prevent the Reapers from seizing the planet. Alliance forces have since established several outposts in the system because we're really good at building fire bases and stuff, you know, history and all that. The humans and the Sari have been joined by a small detachment of, of Turians drawn from the private militia military of a corporate conglomerate that does business with the planet. Oh god, grief. The three, the three species are also determined to defend the planet. That, uh, that integration issues have been negligible. Well, it's because they're both, they're all trying, so they're all working together. The task force has already thrown back several Reaper attacks Although the commanders expressed concern that small Reaper forces could have slipped through despite their vigilance. 
what that basically tells me is that when we go to this one, there will be Reaper forces, not Cerberus forces. So it's not going to be a shooting gallery like normal. Okay, Reaper War! The Battle of Rannoch! Way! Right. The Quarians' plan to take back their homeworld was risky and could easily have led to their annihilation if a peaceful solution had not been found. Obviously this changes depending on what choices you make. In an initial battle against the Reaper upgraded Geth ships, the Quarians found their heavy fleet and a portion of the patrol fleet outmatched. To stave off defeat, the Quarians retreated at FTL speeds to rally with the civilian fleet on the far side of Rannoch's sun. I'm not pronouncing that. Temporarily hidden, but with only minutes of advance warning should a Geth scout spot them, Quarians planned counterattacks to disrupt the Geth link with the Reapers. First preying on, the, on a damaged Geth Dreadnought, the first mission we did, the Quarians followed by sending strike teams to Runnock's surface to destroy the Reaper that was transmitting uh, improved software to the Geth forces. The final mission we did <laughs> doesn't deal with the two missions in between, it's just you know, the technicalities. When the Reaper uplink was disrupted, the Geth suffered momentary downgrades in response time and intelligence allowing the Quarians to press their advantage. But an emergency order from Commander Shepard and Admiral Ron broke off hostilities before the Geth's full capabilities were restored. It is to the Quarians' credit that all three fleets obeyed the order to cease fire, even the civilian fleet, which had little combat experience. The Geth, for their part, bore no ill will towards enemy combatants and broke off hostilities with perfect discipline. Yes, hive mind and all that. Sort of. It remains to be seen how the Geth and the Quarians will manage to coexist on Rhinoc. For now, they have committed their considerable military forces to repel the Reapers. Given the long-lasting animosity between the Geth and Quarians, it is possible that the Reapers did not plan for the possibility of such an alliance and will be unprepared to contend with both armadas. Ba -boom. There you go. I managed to read it without messing it up too bad. Yeah! But there we go, that's all of that dealt with. So, on that note, thank you for watching. Until next time, this is JC, out.